Apprehended by tactical teams this afternoon, only 15 miles from downtown Washington, a sworn officer in the Federal Protective Service who was believed armed and dangerous. Mr. Julio Tordillo has been taken into custody just minutes ago. Uh, thankfully, it was without the incident. Officials announcing his arrest say fatal shootings at three locations in less than 24 hours are likely related. We do have reason to believe that this incident and the one in Aspen Hill, um, potentially the one also in Prince George's County at High Point, was in fact uh, related. Police put out a bulletin for Officer Eulalio Tordel Thursday, wanted for first degree murder after he allegedly shot dead his estranged wife outside this high school. From the high school, only a dozen miles away, this morning, three shot one fatally at the Westfield Mall. And then five miles away, another victim shot dead at a supermarket. With the gunman on the loose, children were kept inside under shelter-in-place warnings at schools nearby. Police fanned out on a manhunt to find one of their own, a trained law enforcement officer. You're dealing with the worst case scenario for a responding officer to take down a police officer who's had this type of training. Tactical teams located his car, then spotted the suspect in a restaurant across the street from the supermarket shooting site, where reporters back. were set up we're to cover back. the story. Back. They're telling us to get back. But police say they waited until he came out. They uh, had this uh, individual under surveillance, and when the individual uh, walked back to his car, uh, the plainclothes officers were able to take him into custody without incident. I'm surprised that he didn't get into a shootout with the police. The Federal Protective Service, which guards federal buildings, put Tortle on administrative duties in March after a protective order was issued against him and removed his duty weapon and badge. He was then placed on administrative leave.